Hello, I'm Dr. Clem Darling, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing on endovascular techniques for repair of ruptured abdominal aortic aneurysms. Elective aortic aneurysm repair has evolved over the past decade. Today, the majority of patients are evaluated for endovascular treatment, and only those who do not meet the anatomic criteria are offered open surgical reconstruction. More recently, we have extended this technology to patients who present with ruptured abdominal aortic and or thoracic aortic aneurysms. The patient is placed on an endovascular table in the operating room. Hypotensive hemostasis is allowed as long as end organ function is maintained. Once a unilateral femoral cutdown is completed under local or general anesthesia, wire access is obtained and a 12 French sheath placed. Through this, an aortic occlusion blues is advanced into the descending thoracic aorta. Unstable patients require immediate balloon inflation. Otherwise, the device is left in position in case there is a sudden decompensation. The contralateral femoral artery cutdown ensues, and an appropriately sized sheath is advanced for the endograft main body insertion. At this point, the endovascular repair is treated much like an elective surgical repair. If the balloon has to be inflated, which occurs in 20% of time in our series, then the contralateral wire can be advanced into the thoracic aorta with a brief balloon deflation. In the setting of an unstable inferenal AAA rupture, the main body can be deployed using normal techniques, and once in position, a second balloon placed up through the main body while the primary balloon is discarded. After the balloon exchange, the contralateral limb is cannulated and the re remainder of the endograft is completed. Completion angiography is crucial. As long as the patient is hemodynamically stable with no endoleak, sheaths are removed and arteries repaired. One of the unusual complications seen using this treatment algorithm is abdominal compartment syndrome. This is diagnosed using clinical judgment or bladder pressure elevation. Treatment is immediate laparotomy for decompression with an associated mortality of 70%. This briefing is made possible through a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about endovascular techniques for ruptured aortic aneurysms, visit vascularweb.org.